This is exciting. On Saturday, a rare glimpse at a solar eclipse, and it is going to be visible right here in South Carolina. News 19's meteorologist Corey Smith knows all about this and tells you when to go looking into the sky. On Saturday, what we call a solar eclipse will be occurring over the western U.S. This is when the moon actually moves in front of the sun and we get the shadow. Now, there's two areas of distinct shadow, the umbra, which is where we get the darker shadow, and the penumbra, which is where we're going to be seeing the partial eclipse as we go into this weekend. Let's talk about the moon's orbit because it's going to play into the eclipse. It's not a perfect circle. It's what we call an elliptical pattern here where it's more of an oval shape. When it's closer to the Earth, the moon Moon appears bigger in our sky. When it's further away, it appears smaller. And that's what's going to be the case on Saturday. And that's going to set the stage for what we call an annular eclipse, a moon that doesn't fully cover the sun. Let's take a look at the eclipse map. You can see where that annular eclipse is actually going to occur in the southwestern United States. Here locally, we're talking more of a 40 to 50 percent coverage of the sun, a partial eclipse as we go into Saturday. Breaking down the time, what we can expect for this eclipse, you're going to see around 1150 is when that partial eclipse begins with the maximum coverage 45 percent right around 118. That partial eclipse will continue until we get to about 248 and then things will be back to normal. Now, one important thing is during this, you got to make sure that you have your eclipse glasses. You don't want to look at the sun. You might damage your eyes or you will damage your eyes if you do look with unprotected vision there. So definitely make sure you have the eclipse glasses or another way to view the sun as you go into the 14th. As for weather, let's take a look because there is a cold front that's going to be moving out of the area. So maybe some rain early Saturday morning and of course some cloud cover with that. But right now the thinking is as you get towards the eclipse itself, partly cloudy skies are looking possible for the region. So I think a lot of us will be able to see this event over our sky. I'm News 19 WLTX meteorologist Corey Smith.